It's getting real, guys. We are starting to pack up all of our stuff. Hi, guys. Today is Thursday, October 21st. I did want to give you guys an update. I'm not sure when's the last time I checked in with you guys, but it has been, it's been a week. So I leave for flight attendant training on Monday. So we still have three full days before I actually leave. Right now we are in the process of moving. Yesterday we took a bunch of stuff over to the new apartment, mainly like all of the big items because Evan's friend helped us, which was super helpful. We're not using like a moving company. This isn't like a PCS or anything. So we are trying to save money and do it all on our own. So today we woke up early. We are about to take our first load of the day to the new house, a couple of things. And I kind of just got myself ready. I straightened my hair. Did my face routine, like my face morning routine, put some sunscreen on, left up the lashes, we're doing all natural today. Got on some like workout clothing, comfy workout clothing to move some items. While I'm waiting for Evan, I am waiting for this video to export so I can upload it to YouTube so I can get that up later. And I think Evan is downstairs talking to the insurance people because two days ago, while we were packing, he went to go to Chipotle to get us dinner, and he got in a car accident. I feel like so many things have been happening to us. Like, it's like over and over. It's like I'm almost numb to it at this point. Like, things just keep happening. Anyways, before that, he actually had a really bad day at work. So he was already having a bad day, and then he called me to tell me he got in a car accident. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Evan is okay. Um, we, have some, we have some damage to the car. DC here, like, I hate it. Like, the... I don't hate DC, I hate the DC traffic. I hate the DC, like driving in DC, It's cr people are crazy. Before that, a couple months ago, Evan got his car hit by like a car, I don't even know, I think it was a car. He was inside of Aldi getting some groceries and then the side, someone like side swiped him. So we have like a dent on the side of our car and then now he got in a car accident so now the whole bumper front end is all messed up. He took pictures of her car and it, it's bad. It was really, really bad, I guess he was, going through a green light, he had the green, he was going, and she like turned, like he, she turned left onto oncoming traffic and he hit her head on. She was saying that she had the green arrow too. We're not sure exactly what happened in the moment, but she was saying she had a green arrow. She was rushing to work. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but he's figuring out all the insurance stuff right now in the middle of us trying to move and me getting ready for training. And Luckily, it is drivable. We could still drive it. So if we weren't able to drive it, I don't know how we'd be able to move stuff because we're literally just using the car and doing trips back and forth to move all of our stuff. Anyways, that's what we we're dealing with on this lovely Thursday afternoon. And now we're probably going to hit some DC traffic because it's 3.30. So while we're moving, we sit in traffic, but whatever. It's okay. I'm thankful. It's just me venting to you guys, you know, from a friend to a friend. Go called me while I was on the john. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I had that. Okay, Geico is, is whose insurance? Uh, it is the person that I hit. They called me, they said that she was at fault, um, but luckily I asked firsthand if, if she was okay because uh, the phone number she gave us, or gave me, uh, wasn't valid. It was to somebody else, so it was the wrong number. But luckily the person says they already talked to her, she's fine, mm -hmm. and everybody, nobody got hurt, which is a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, her insurance is gonna cover my damages, and luckily next week I'll be able to bring it to a body shop. They also have a rental available for me, and I also have Liberty Mutual's uh, rental insurance from them. Mm -hmm. So all I have to do is cover gas with the rental, and they're covering the entire damages to our vehicle. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, so no matter what it is, because they didn't even ex inspect it yet. Uh, well, they're gonna. Uh, they're. I bring it to the body shop uh, that Geico mm -hmm. uh, does their business with, and I looked up the business. The business is pretty good. It's like a three point five to four stars, and uh, they guarantee lifetime uh, lifetime warranty for uh, for fixing uh, any damages at all. So. <laughs> okay. So 
there, it's going to cover them. So when are we going to do that? After you drop me off for flight attendant training? or Yes. Okay. You are not going to be here when okay. that gets taken care of. It's because the car's still drivable right now, which is great. Yeah. And I think we can at least use the car for pretty much all of uh, all of our moves that we're doing, which is good. And then she heads off to training, and then I'll take care of the car issues while she's gone. This is what we have so far. We decided to put this shoe storage here behind the door. It doesn't like slam against the door, which is really nice. It fits perfectly. A good way to use this empty space because otherwise there's probably will be nothing there. And then we'll put like a mirror or some artwork there. We have our bar stools, which I kind of don't like how close they are. It feels a little cluttered over here, but I mean, that's kind of with a studio. We have our big dresser over here with a mirror. We'll probably keep there. This dresser we actually got from Germany. This part was hard for us to figure out because our couch is in like this U or L shape and it just looked so weird. So we're trying to figure this out and how to make it work. And then that will be our bedroom area. We still have to put together our bed frame. That is our mattress. It has been a day, y'all. It's so late at night, it is nine o'clock. We stopped to get like something quick from McDonald's, but we haven't even like had like a proper dinner. And we're just like so tired and we thought we were gonna be able to finish everything tonight, but we're not able to. We're gonna have to do another moving day tomorrow, which eats up some time for us to be able to spend time together and me getting ready for flight attendant training. But it is what it is. So tomorrow we still have a ton to do, but I think we're just gonna call it a night. We're gonna sleep here at the new apartment and we think we're gonna walk to a local Mexican restaurant and have a dinner, like a super late dinner. We'll have dinner and like some drinks and come back here, rest, maybe like unpack some things. But we're gonna be up really early, right tomorrow, to get stuff done. And then we have dinner at my nanny family's and we are just going to say like our goodbyes or see you later, as I like to say, and give each other gifts and stuff. I have like gifts for the kids that I'm making. But for now, we're gonna call it a night and I will probably see you guys tomorrow in the morning. We can put some stuff away together. Maybe I'll film it. And you guys can see how everything looks in the morning. <laughs> so far to move are these clear plastic totes which I used for my last move and what we've been doing is just taking a load to the house dropping it off and then bringing the clear bins back or using garbage bags like for things that necessarily like things that won't break and stuff like our towels our bed comforters stuff like that so as you can see like just been loading stuff up in totes or we have been using suitcases so this one I got for free and we got like another one from free from like a curb alert and then we've had this one and we've been like loading things up in the suitcases dropping it off and bringing it back this is such a good way to save money if you're moving somewhere obviously close and like close proximity this wouldn't work obviously if you're moving across the country you're moving across different states but what we've been doing is just using this so that we can reuse it it saves some money and I think we've been using this to like transport our shoes and stuff like that. I will probably put some maybe some other like breakable items, maybe like transport our candles or something like that for our next load. So we have one, two, three, and then a couple bins that we can take over for our next round. Then just brought up more kitchen stuff and you guys see how big our last kitchen was. And this kitchen literally only has a couple of cabinets, so we're we'll probably gonna have to get rid of more stuff or try to figure out a creative way to create more storage. We might actually use this little dresser as more 
storage for like extra food and stuff. I am putting away all of our mugs, like our coffee mugs, tea mugs, and I wanted to show you guys what I did. Since we were trying to save money and not use a ton of things that will be wasteful, I used things that we already had to like separate the stuff. So I used the top of our Tupperwares to separate each glass so they wouldn't like bang. Which all we did was pretty much put this tote in the car and then Evan took it up here. So it's not like we have movers helping us that will like break anything. Like we're moving ourselves. So it's not like we needed like a ton of things to move. And then, like I said, we just empty everything out and then we'll just bring these totes to the old house, pack up more stuff just so that we are not being wasteful and we are saving money and reusing the things that we already have. And then I also use like things like this, like soft material to separate glasses and like these so they're not like clinging so that way we're kind of knocking or what does that say <laughs> knocking two birds with one stone killing two birds with one stone yeah killing two birds with one stone <laughs> This is our bed set up so far. Evan actually did this yesterday while I was working at the house, the old house. He got this up pretty fast. I love that it has the under bed storage for extra storage since we have such a small space. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so this will be our bedroom. We took our mirror from our old house and then we got some new sheets from Target that match kind of the theme and remember this from our old house it was above the couch i think i'm gonna put it like right here and then we got these from target some nightstands which they were really affordable they're only ten dollars and i think they really like tie in with the place like the whites and the creams i wanted two bed stands right there but i don't know if we're gonna do that because it might look a little cramped here. So I might keep that little stool still and put this here. And then we'll do like a more storage type nice stand over there. I got two of these, so they were matching. And I think that like all ties together. We probably won't keep that there. I'm not sure exactly if we already have like a little like little one we might not or i might just keep one of them i'm not sure let me know what you guys think in the comments below we have this pretty much set up here still have to move like a couple things around but i love how everything kind of goes together and matches but there's also some separation between the two we'll probably get an area rug i might move this one over here and then get a white one over here and then Evan's unpacking some things and we might move this over here. This works perfectly because this is where all of our alcohol is and it's close to the kitchen, but also close for here for, also close to the living room for entertaining. Oh. 